here's five of the best word games you guys should be playing every single day. These are games that I play every single day for videos or for fun, so you should definitely check them out and subscribe so my very real child can eat this month. All right, guys, so the first game that you guys should be playing every single day is, of course, Wordle. In Wordle, you have to guess a five-letter word, and you get different hints to help you out along the way. I'll show you. Yesterday was the 4th of July, as most of you probably know. I don't know, unless you're living under a rock. But, like, they were blowing up so many fireworks over here. It was crazy. I was like, calm down. Okay, so we have an O and an N, and they are both yellow, which means that they are not in that spot in the word, but they are in the word, right? So it could be, like, blank O, N, perhaps. They could go anywhere, except the O can't go third, and the N can't go fifth. So this could be, like, I don't know, we could run, like, toner here. We could run, like, there's no B. That would be kind of fun, but no, there's no B. We could run onion. No, we can't run onion. The N can't go fifth. Condo. We could run condo. Okay. Do we run a double O here? Because that would test out if the O is second or fifth. But, like, in what universe is the O fifth? So I don't think that's a good guess. It could be like blank O-U-N, like sound. It could be the word sound or the word not bound, but round. Okay, I kind of like round. Like we're going around and round in this Wordle game. We're trying to think of all different words. Just guess one, Kenny. See what happens. Nothing good? Okay. Okay, so we still don't know where the O or N is, but that's fine. That's totally fine. I'm not worried. Are you worried? Look, we could run onces. I don't think that's a word. On set. Wait, wait, on set is so crazy. Wait, that's like the craziest word I've ever thought of. On pet. No, on, on fet. Once I was seven years old. Could also be like blank N A blank O snafu. No, no, that's snafu, not snafo. Okay. I don't know. I kind of like on set. But, like, Wordle in 3 is kind of insane with Onset, don't you think? Like, I'm kind of the greatest gamer of all time. You're all going to be like, Kenny, there's no way you would have gotten Onset in 3. But I'm just built like that. Okay, I'm not built like that. I apologize. I'm not at all built like that. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's fine. I hope you all enjoy. Oh, the N can't go there. I was so convinced it was enjoy for a second. I was hyped that I was about to get it in 4. But the N cannot go second. Okay. I'm on a bench in Coney Island. No, there's no O there O can't go second okay O has to go fourth or fifth which is awkward um it could be like blank e n o m venom oh venom 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 what the hell you're telling me the word's gonna be venom or is it like Venom? No, it's Venom. It's Venom, right? It's just gotta be Venom. What else in Tarnation could it be? Oh, Venom in four! Let's go, guys! We did it! Guys, so that's how Wordle works. I mean, you, you, you feel like you got nothing, and then all of a sudden you win. It's pretty easy to win most days, I gotta be honest. But I think it's really fun. It's a really great game. You should check it out. Also, guys, I play these games every single day on my TikTok at Kenny Holler, so please go over there and check that out. Guys, the second game that you should check out is also by the New York Times. They're not paying me for this. Okay, the game is free. It's called the Mini Crossword. There's a million different Mini Crosswords. I just really like the New York Times one. I think it's the most fair balance. I think it's also the one that most people play. So let's check it out together. I'll walk you through it as we go. Okay, so we have Dog's Warning is a bark. Uh, I don't know. Aloha is Hawaiian as Mamma Mia. I don't know. It's too Italian. Uh, oh, ciao. Oh, I get it. Okay, form of many cannabis edibles. They're, they're brownies. I thought they were brownies. I don't know. What tank tops expose are your shoulders? What? Your, your, your arms? Okay, that makes sense. G whiz is a crazy crossword clue. I want that informally. Gimme. Okay, LA football team is the Rams. He's actually cooking. This is Roy G. Bibb. A uh, medical breakthrough is a cure. Oh my God. Running joke is a gag. 39 seconds? Wait, are you kidding me? He's actually the greatest crossword player of the damn generation. And I don't know what to tell you. I mean, look at the way I cooked their gummy. I didn't even get the gas gummy. Oh, I guess that makes sense. G Wiz in a running gag and grr is all crazy guesses. I guess I didn't guess grr. But like, they're all crazy words to be in the crossword, I feel like. Guys, sometimes the crossword takes me like, I don't know, three minutes, five minutes. I've been playing this for months. So don't get discouraged if it takes you a little longer than 39 seconds. We're, we're not all Kenny Holler. I'm kidding. <laughs> it comes in waves. You'll get better. And I think it's really fun. And it really helps expand your like knowledge. I didn't even know half these words before I started. Like, okay, this one was pretty easy. But like in general, you'll see. So I think 
it's really fun to play and you should definitely check that out. All right, guys, we're stepping away from the New York Times games, at least for a second. And this game is called Weaver and you have to go from one word to another, only changing one letter at a time. That may seem a little bit complicated, but just to show you. So in this case, we got to go from vase to bowl or vase. I don't know how you pronounce it. Okay. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a scientist. So you can start with a base here, right? Okay. So now we have the B and then we have to change this A, S and E to a O, W and L. How are we going to do that? Bose headphones? No. Okay. Base to boss. Wait, he's cooking to to Basel? No. Okay. To 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 Bose. Wait, that was the easiest weaver of all time. That was the easiest weaver of all time, guys. It's not normally that easy. Guys, a, a fun feature about weaver is that throughout the week, it changes in difficulty. So starting on Monday, it's actually a feature of a lot of these games, the mini crossers like that too. Uh, so on Monday, it's really easy. And on Sunday, it's the hardest. The mini crossword is Saturday that it's the hardest, but still they kind of have this fun feature. Why don't we do a random one? Maybe that'll be harder. Okay, let's go from verb to noun. We got to go uh, herb maybe uh, to earn. Okay, how is earn? See, that's the fun part about this game. You get to start making up words uh, and that's how I've gotten good at it. See, now you could go horn. You could go norn. No, you could go hound. No, you could go hoon. No, to mourn. Maybe to moon? No. Okay. Um, what am I gonna do here? Torn to to tune to tune to born to boon? No. I would guess to boon to noon. Ah, to noun. That's not gonna be the optimal, guys. But I'm. That's the optimal. Wait, I'm a genius. Wait, I'm actually a genius. Never mind. But I just wanted to give you guys a taste of what that game is. You should definitely check it out. It has a new one every single day, along with all of these games. New games come out every single day, so you get to incorporate it into your normal routine. Okay, guys, we got two games left that you have to check out every single day, and the fourth game is Contexto. Now, Contexto might be the hardest game on the list. It's kind of the weirdest, because sometimes it doesn't really make sense. Basically, you guess a word, and it's going to tell you how close to the correct word it is like by meaning. Right, so sometimes it takes some weird interpretations. Uh, it's a little bit awkward. It takes the most time probably at any of these games, but I think it's pretty satisfying. So let's try it. Let's start with game. Let's start with game. Let's see. So we're 2,274 words away. I don't know. Let's go building. Building. What the hell? It's a city. Oh no. Okay, building. Okay, let's go. Uh, uh, door maybe. Door. What? 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 <laughs> Are you out of your damn mind? Contexto in four with door. <laughs> Guys, there is no freaking way. There is no damn way. I guess door from building and city. I don't even know why I thought of door. What? I guess I got game in two. But like that was luck. This was crazy. This wasn't luck. I mean it was because I guess building. But like, but like game, I wasn't even thinking about my clues. This one, I got door in four. Normally, contexto is not that easy. Okay. Normally, it takes like a hundred guesses. We can play another game here. Um, for me to show you. I might I might use some hints, but I'm gonna play another game to like actually show you how it's supposed to go, because it's not supposed to go like that we're gonna start with game again let's go oh let's just go building again i don't know it works pretty well okay not a building let's go town no let's go like a thing no kinda so like the orange is like kind of close right but it's still pretty far away so you don't want to base too much on orange words because they're still pretty far away so it could be like a place it is a place is it a event no is it in nature at all no is it a road? No. Okay. Uh, is it a car? Is it a home? It is kind of a home. Is it a room? Is it a bed? Is it a couch? No. Sit? Do you sit there? Do you sleep there? No. Okay. Guys, I'm just trying to show you how the game works. So what you could do here if you ever get stuck is you could click up here and you could click tip. I try not to use it in my videos because I think it's more fun, but I'm trying not to make the game last 20 million years. So we got shelf. Okay, so like a bookshelf, maybe? No, shelf. Storage. Okay, kind of. Um, rack. Um, okay, rack. Cabinet, maybe? No, put. 
Like you put things up there. Um, cook. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Snack. Okay. Drawer, maybe? No. Okay. Rack, shelf, snack, put. Spice. Like a spice rack. No. Okay. Bin. Bin is really close. Okay. Pack. Pack. Um, st store away. Uh, closet, maybe? No. Okay. Uh, like to hang up some clothes. Clothes. Uh, kinda. Shirt. No. Okay. Okay. Give me another hint. Give me another hint. I don't want this to take all day. Picnic. Oh, it's a damn blanket. Oh, it's a blank. It's not a blanket. Oh. Basket. Oh, it's a basket. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, that's how Contexto works, guys. Normally when I play, it takes me like 100 guesses and like 20 minutes. I'm trying not to do that for this video. Uh, but it's really fun. You should definitely check it out. All right, guys. And our final game that I think you should check out every single day is also a New York Times game. I don't know. I'm kind of New York Times filled. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm, I'm not paid by them. They should pay me, but they haven't. It's called Connections. And basically what it is, is you get 16 words and you have to group them into four sets of four and they each have different themes, right? So it's going to be a little complicated because they try to trick you and I'm not very good at it. But let's see if we could do it today. Okay, so today we have Milky Way Genesis, Hammer Sum, Switch Maroon, Bounty U, Anvil Crunch, Blink Stirrup, Heath, We, Coach Chili, what, and Dreamcast. Okay, so there's a few things that stick out in my mind right away with this. And it's like game consoles. You got the Genesis, the Sega Genesis. You have the, is it Sega Dreamcast? I think it was. You got the Wii, the Nintendo Wii, the, the Wii U. It, you don't call it the U. No, the Nintendo Switch, though. But, like, U is such a weird word in here. And, like, where else would it go? Okay, what else do we have, though? We also have, like, different candy bars. We have, like, Heath Bar, Crunch Bar, Milky Way Bar, and Maroon Bar. I don't... Bounty Bar? I don't... What other bar is there? Okay. I don't know. I kind of like Wii, Dreamcast, Switch, and Genesis. If it's U, man, I don't know what to do with that. Okay, good. It's not U. That makes sense. We got one. We already did better than yesterday. Yesterday, I got none of them. Okay? It was really embarrassing. Today, we already got one. That's a good start. What else can we have here? We got, like, hammer? What is a stirrup? Isn't that like a... I don't know. Heavy things. Anvil. Hammer. Stirrup, probably. And you. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. No, you're a skinny legend. I'm so sorry. It was. <laughs> what is a cockley? Five things with five. Maroon. Some could equal five. You. You're five years old, probably. Okay. Milky Way Crunch Heath. The U bar. No. Anvil bar. Hammer bar. Blink bar. Uh, chocolate. Maroon chocolate. Some chocolate. Anvil cho hammer chocolate, you chocolate, bounty chocolate, blink 182, some 41, it's bands with numbers, maroon 5, and you too, he's a genius, he's a genius, oh my god, that just, that, that like, oh my god, like I heard, I heard a voice from above, I think it was probably maroon, I think it was probably Adam Levine, he said, band names minus the numbers, that was crazy, okay, okay, how about things I don't know what they are, stirrup, Coxley, I kind of don't know what an anvil is, if I'm being honest. Bounty bar kind of sounds correct. I don't know why, but I think I'm just going to guess that bounty bar is correct. He's a genius. He's a genius. What the hell is a bounty bar? What is that? And what is this? Heavy things? Ear parts? Wait, those are all ear parts? I thought an anvil was a heavy thing. A hammer, I thought that was a heavy thing. A stirrup, I thought it was something to do with like a, a horse. He's a genius, though. I don't know. I got the perfect connections on that. I didn't even understand half of it. But, ah, whatever. And sometimes that's how connection goes. Yesterday, I got none of them. Today, I got all of them. But it's kind of fun to try to get the little category. Sometimes they try to confuse you by throwing in an extra one that could fit, but it also fits in another category. So you have to kind of figure it out. Let me know what other word games you enjoy and subscribe so you don't miss the next video. See ya. See you later.